Today's educational topic is car sickness. So this usually happens when you're in the back seat of a car, driving, you're feeling sick to your stomach, nausea, dizziness, and even headaches. The reason this happens is because there's a disconnect between the signaling that's going on between your inner ear and your eyes. Your inner ear is responsible for making that connection with your eyes so that what you feel is what you see. And that's where that disconnect happens with car sickness. For an example, if you're riding in the back seat of a car looking at your phone, your eyes are telling you that you're still, but the minute you look up, you see things that are moving. So it's going to cause that alter signaling throughout the body, giving you that nausea, or that dizziness, or that uneasy feeling in the stomach. The good news is, is all this can actually be retrained by doing specific vestibular exercises, which involves visual tracking, head movements, and even positions when your eyes are closed. All this is providing your body with more awareness. So when you get in those situations, your body is going to have more of a connection versus that disconnect that causes your symptoms. But I can tell you it won't be easy and it will take a little bit of time, but it is highly effective. During this training, you're going to undergo something called habituation. So all this means is that you're going to be exposed to that same stimulus that caused your dizziness, your nausea, and your headache, but at a smaller dose to where over time your body gets used to that feeling to where it doesn't react like it did before. The toughest part about habituation that it doesn't necessarily make you feel good because you are going to recreate some of those symptoms of nausea, dizziness, and headaches. The goal is to keep it at a minimal point to allow your body to slowly progress more and more. But first, you have to make sure before you start any of these activities that you see your physician or your physical therapist. That way you can get guided on how to do these appropriately. For more information on programs specific to car sickness, visit us at www.parpt.com.